Hello, everyone. Carrie Beck here with FamilyEvis.com, where we help families get started online and skyrocket their business so you can find freedom and flexibility. We've been talking about supercharging your um, marketing, specifically about selling and promoting your products. A lot of you, I know you're like me. I don't like selling. I, you know, we sort of have this used car salesman mentality. That is not what we're talking about. Go back and listen to some of the podcasts right before that. We talked about serving your audience. And when you serve them, they're going to want more of your information than you can sell to them. Listening to your um, to your customers as well. And as you listen, you can solve their problems with your products. You will soon become an expert at anticipating what it is they truly want because they'll be just going along reading stuff from you and then they're going to go, where can I get a that where can I get this I need more of what she's talking about I need a course by that lady and so you need to anticipate that as well um you know I talked about not necessarily making a lot more products I think it is really important that you stick with sort of a signature product and convert that and test it and get it selling well to the right audience once you've done that then you can move on and start to create some other types of products, some other things that you can do. So when I say don't don't keep making a lot of products, I mean, don't keep making a lot of products that just throw in a store and they just sit there and you're not selling. Focus on your signature. What is your signature course? For me in homeschooling, it is called Raising Leaders, Not Followers, a biblical uh, perspective of leadership education. And it's a way that you can train your kids to be leaders instead of following the crowd all the time. And how you do this within your homeschool. You can even do this if you're not homeschooling. So there's a lot of things. But I sold that over and over three or four times a year before I start adding more things to it. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Make sure you get something that is convert and converts well and that is steady income. Excuse me. I've had a dry throat today. All right. And I want to talk about six proven ways to supercharge your sales with some other types of products or some other types of ways of looking at sales. Before I dive into that, I sort of forgot, hey, wherever you're listening to this, click on the subscribe button so we can get more content out like this that can really help you supercharge your sales. That is what we're all about. I would love for you to be a part of our community as well. So the first thing would be a membership site. When you are receiving questions and getting feedback regularly about your information, you know it's probably time maybe to put it all into a membership site of some sort. And you, I would, it, I'm this is not a course on membership sites. I'm just giving you little snippets, but I think it's important that you find out before you create this membership course if this is really something that they want and if they need it. If they sense they need it, they may need it but they're not thinking it. So you need to talk to your audience, people that are already on your email list or in your Facebook group and find out what it is that they want and need. And that can go on top of your signature product. In fact, you could have your signature product and it could lead into a membership site. I know many people that have done that. First, a membership site. Second, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay, that's sort of opposite to stick with your signature, but seriously, stick with your signature thing and then do supplemental things that go along with the same topic. Don't be all over the board. All right. So you have your um, your signature product. You may have a membership site and you might have some digital. You might have some smaller things inside of this that you could sell separately. Those are digital products. Um, you're also going to have some lead magnets, some free products that have offers behind them with your paid products. Next week, we're going to talk about upsells and downsells. Upsells are those that want to take the next step. Downsells are ones I'm not quite sure I want to spend that much money, but I'll take a little um, piece of this. For instance, my homeschool course costs $197. I promote it for about 10 days, um, a heavy promotion. I've been pre-launching it before that. And then afterwards, anyone that has attended my classes or shown any sort of interest that does not sign up for the course, I will offer them some of my eBooks that cover the same content. It will not go into as much depth, but it will at least give them a taste of what I'm about and whether this course would be a good fit. That's a downsell. 
So don't put all your eggs in one basket. You might want to spread that out and give them different versions of the same topic so they can enter in at whatever step. So membership and not all your eggs in one basket. Reward your subscribers. Maybe give them a discount or a special code. Let them test new products in exchange for a testimonial or something. Help get them involved in your products and they will be some of your best supporters and your advocates and they will tell others about that. Open up an affiliate program that would help as well. Give them a reason to stay with you instead of going somewhere else. Next, naturally and organically promote your products. How do we do this? When you write a blog post, you can naturally mention things about it. Part of my leadership course is uh, teaching our kids to love learning and to be lifetime learners. So whenever I have a paragraph about love learning, I will um, hyperlink it either to another blog post or to a course specifically on creating a love of learning. So that is a natural way to move them over. Also, when you are in groups like Facebook groups or other type of groups, when there are, it's a place for you to answer questions in the comments, don't over, take over someone's Facebook group, but you can answer naturally there and talk to them about it. You may not be able to share a link in that group. I know I'm part of a group and you can't share links, but they can send you a DM and then you can send that link to them. Uh, create regular systems. Some of you, if you put out a new video, say every Wednesday at 11 o'clock, your people are going to be looking forward to that new video. That is another thing. It gets them on the hook. It gets them excited and they're looking for the next thing. And that new video in three weeks might sell a product of yours. And then finally, don't copy your competitors. Find what they have not done yet. This is a fancy way for saying filling in the gap, but that's sort of an old fashioned way and people sort of are like filling in the gap. I'm not so sure about that. It is overused a lot, but approach whatever you're doing in your business with a fresh new mindset. Look for things that your competitors are not doing where you can fill in the gap and you can make it better. For instance, there are people that um, like Saxon math, um, lots of people buy it. And lots of, and for those of you that don't know, that's just a, an education math curriculum in the public schools, in the private schools, and homeschoolers. But homeschoolers were sort of struggling with it. And a friend of ours started creating videos to teach each lesson in the Saxon math book and sold it as a course that you bought that Saxon math and then you could get this and you would buy this course to go along. That is filling in the gap as well. So also you could look at old products and see if there's a new way that you can present that information, old problems that they have. Is there a new way you can help them? Um, and if you have old solutions, maybe you can find a better one. So those are six ways that you could supercharge your sales. Let's review those. Those are a membership site. Don't put all your eggs in one basket to, I forgot the next one. Oh, yeah. Reward your subscribers naturally and organically promote your products. Create a system to get your content out there and fill in the gap. Don't copy your competitors. Find a new way. I would love to help you with any of this. We've got some uh, resources mentioned wherever you are listening to this. So go ahead and take a look at that. And there are a few. Be sure to grab our business marketing roadmap. That is a great place to get started with your online business. Hey, thanks for spending time with me. I am Carrie Beck with FamilyEbiz.com. We'll talk to you next time.